Right, so this is my cleaning rack and uh, we're going to have a quick look through them. If you want to have a look, we're going to have a proper look at the rack. Uh, we need to empty these out. We need to empty these out to, uh, just to give you a quick look at them. Um, we've got things like Eddie Lang's. I mean, it's like quite a bit of a state, that one. And uh, Kappam and Dwyer um, making a talkie, part one and two. I'm not sure what that's about. But uh, anyway, yeah, um, I'm not going to go through them too uh, in too much detail so we'll just have a look at the first side just to get through them all oh look how dirty that is um that's here here's ends the rainbow by oh it's a bing crosby um uh, uh, a guy is a a guy is a guy by ella fitzgerald and uh five point blues Bob Crosby and his wildcats. There's a bit of a, a bit of a muck on there. See, that's why it's in the cleaning rack. Um, the toy drum. Uh, Percival Mackey's band there on that one. And on this one, we'll just give a quick look. Kentucky Babe Waltz, uh, Waltz, De Groot and the Piccadilly Orchestra. I <laughs> say, oh, the door's just opened. On. Right, little break there. Uh, nice Rex label here, Gracie Fields though. Serenade in the night and in a little Lancashire town. I think that's a great number, that one. Uh, those are the sorts I like with Gracie Field. Nice little um, music hall style one. This is, uh, oh, this is a new Dragnet. Um, Ray Anthony and his orchestra. Bye bye. But but this one, yeah, oh, it's a bit worn. It's a bit worn. It's been played. It's been played quite a bit. So this will probably end up on a gramophone player. Uh, this old one here. This is this is this this is just covered in grease. It's all greasy. It's horrible. Um, it's Congo Caravan uh, by Mills Blue Rhythm Band. Um, I'm going back to Nebraska, the De Broy Summers Band, fantastic. But again, look at the state of it. Look at the state of that mold on there. This is, these are going to get cleaned. I'm going to do a cleaning video. I mean, I'm going to stop going through them in a second now. You're going to hate that, but it's taken me time. So we want to have a look. We want to make this a short video. I didn't want to make it a long video. So you can see, you can you'll probably, if you're aching to see these, then I don't know, just say so. Or maybe I'll do a a proper um uh video on them but yeah anyway what what i wanted to do was just to show you this it's a great rack and um we'll do it oh, a little small one there we'll show you that one uh it's called coontown wedding unfortunately um but there you go it's a bit of history in it uh yeah so let's have a quick let's have a better look at this right yeah so this just folds right up it folds up in, and, and it, so it's easy to store away you can store it away quite easily i have it open all the time it's made out of wood it's 100 percent wood and it's i found it where it's on ebay no not ebay amazon now this bit here opens up i'm not sure what that's for tiny little plates or something but it's just for you washing up your dishes and that and you i wouldn't i mean i don't think it would last long like that i think water would destroy it eventually but for this, it's ideal. It's absolutely ideal. So I have it open, and when I get a dirty record, in it goes, and uh, and so forth, and so on, like this. So um, yeah. So when I come, up, so it usually sits up on the top of the shelf here, and I just put these all the way like this. It looks like something from a jukebox, doesn't it? Something to pick it out now and start playing. <laughs> it's great stuff. I love it. So I'm going to put it back up on the shelf again. Right, so that's where it sits. It sits there at the moment, just up on the on the top shelf here uh, of Gramophone Corner, I call it. And um, this is where I do all my videos. So just at the top of me here is uh, is Gramoph is the um, the dirty the dirty rack <laughs> and uh they will need to get clean soon i will do a video on that right so there she is back up there the rack of uh dirty dirty filthy disgusting 78s that need a good cleaning and they do need a good cleaning and as you've seen some of them 
uh, I will be doing that. And I'll do a video next year on cleaning my 78s and uh, and how I how I particularly do it. I think everyone knows how you're supposed to clean 78s, but you follow a, your own sort of technique maybe or different uh, ideas of doing it. But yeah, I'll, I'll show you mine for what it's worth. And, uh, and I'll do that next year in the new year sometime. But anyway, there it is. That's it. That's it. I'll just a quick little throw in video just to make things uh, different. Uh, and I hopefully uh, I can get some more um, stuff up uh, and a late night listening to uh, and maybe a rack of stack attack, a uh, stack attack, stack attack, <laughs> stack attack special as well on uh, some of the gold, the golden finds, which were never recorded on video. Right. Thanks for now. Catch you later. Where's that drink gone?